Hey folks, this is Mal from RGN and welcome to XCOM. The purpose of this video is really for uh, players that are that are new to the game. Uh, the game's been out for about a year at this point, uh, but there's been a lot of new players coming into the game uh, recently. Uh, there's been a lot of sales on the game and since a lot of people uh, have been talking about the game for so long, I think people have taken advantage of the sales and jumped in. And people are learning the game now in anticipation of the expansion, XCOM Enemy Within, coming out uh, at this point uh, in about three, four weeks. So I thought it might be helpful to have some basic uh, tutorials for folks. Uh, and then I'll be doing some Let's Plays as well, uh, getting myself reacclimated with the game and ready for uh, XCOM Enemy Within. But for now, let's jump in here. I'm going to set it on Classic. And we're going to take Iron Man. Uh, now, if you're real new to the game, you may or may not want to play with this setting. Uh, classic amps up the difficulty. Uh, and Iron Man uh, essentially means you pay for all your mistakes. There's a, a save game that constantly resaves over itself. Um, you may want to start with, you know, maybe normal Iron Man. Uh, and get accustomed to that or play through the whole game and then move up to classic and then eventually to impossible. But... For today's purposes, we're going to do Classic Iron Man, and I'm going to add the second wave options I created equally, and Hidden Potential. Oh yeah, there's only two possibilities. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Oh yeah, and they're both equally terrifying. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of different schools of thought on which country to pick. Uh, I'm going to tell you that the two I think that are the most viable are either Europe, because of the laboratory and workshops, and, uh, or, I'm sorry, laboratories and workshops uh, cost reduction, and then future combat, which is Asia's bonus, which allows for officer training school to uh, upgrades as well as foundry to cost 50 percent less um, these are both really strong uh, but in classic and impossible difficulties getting additional squad mates as well as additional abilities from the officer training school is simply too too good to be uh, passed up so for the initial base starting and and uh, bonus i'm going to go ahead and pick asia Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take yes. any chances. Thank you. Alright. Again, this is a basic movement and defenses tutorial. So if you're looking for uh, just a standard let's play, please check out one of my other videos. Alright folks, so generally speaking what I do is take the furthest back, in this case, this soldier right here. I'm going to move that soldier first. You'll see that there's two chevrons right here. Those indicate your moves or your actions. So you want to look for, always look for full cover. So I highlight here, anywhere in this area right here, anywhere in the essentially the bluish green line I can move under one movement point and then if I go out here further to the yellow that allows me to dash you want to avoid dashing if at all possible you want to essentially not do it um, I'm I'm gonna advise you particularly in classic um, Iron Man or an impossible uh, to always look for hardcover um, or avoid detection altogether um, so we'll talk about that too. So there's essentially really three types of defense from the aliens. There's evasion, or I guess, uh, you know, obscurement, right? You're completely hidden, where they can't see you and you can't see them. Then there's this example here, where there's a shield that indicates full cover. And then there's defense like this. Uh, maybe get a better shot over, the, over here. Defense like this indicates, which would be half cover, which at this difficulty level, um, if they can see you and you're in half cover, you're probably going to die. So it's pretty much worthless. Alright, so let's take the first round move, and this is going to look a little strange. 
but I'm going to make every effort not to encounter the aliens, and I'm going to move back down here. Okay, note that I'm moving one soldier at a time. And then I'm going to put them all on Overwatch. So they're essentially protecting each other. Alright. The scumbag aliens are taking their move. And we're going to continue moving on here. Again, one move at a time. And Overwatch again. Careful because there's going to be some in this building for sure. There's just no question of that. And I'm going to move up a little bit and hope that I'm not spotted. Because I want to move these two into a more forward position. thought process being that they're going to spring out to these other full cover positions on the next turn. Alright, everybody's on overwatch. Okay, definitely got something here. What was that sound? One more turn, and we should be in position. Alright, I'll show you how to set up a breach. Put these two out here, outside the door. These two are ready to pop up over here. Okay, so we've successfully moved. We haven't spotted any of the aliens. They haven't spotted us. We're pretty sure there's some in this area here. Uh, you know, maybe they're the next area or not, but pretty sure they're in there. Uh, and that covers basic movement and defense. Um, I'll show you some more things with uh, examples of concealment um, and then how to approach the enemy and, and minimize. Uh, chances of your soldiers getting killed in the next video. So if you like this one, uh, please like it and subscribe and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.